Hey guys and welcome to Slasher X Games. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you all about armored targets and the only difference between them and the softer targets that we see in front here is they have this little blue bar that protects them for a lot longer. So whenever time we shoot a soft target, you see the bullet goes straight through them, they lose 10% health. But if I shoot a hard target, see if it'll hit him, there we go. Notice that his armor goes down first, his health is still fine, and the bullet is destroyed. So it's sort of like a little shield for him, and when he does lose his armor, he does then take damage as if he was a soft target, so his armor is in fact destroyed. So to turn a soft target into a hard target is really simple. All we're doing is pretty much creating a second variable to hold the amount of armor they've got, and then we reduce this armor first before we even test if we should reduce their health. So let's jump straight into the action, and I can show you exactly what you need to do. So this tutorial is following along from my previous bullet penetration tutorial. So pretty much everything that was in there is in here too. So I do suggest you check that one out first, just so that you know what's going on. So in sprites, I've added a new sprite called Sprite Armored Target. And I've renamed Sprite Target to Sprite Unarmored Target. So you can see there, he's got a blue vest, and this guy doesn't. Then we're going to go into our objects. We've got our player that does his movement. We've got a bullet, which is just a tiny dot that does nothing except destroy itself when it goes out of the room, as well as have a DS list of collision IDs, so it doesn't reduce health of instances it's already collided with. Then we've got our object target over here, and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So let's go into our create to start this off. We've got target health, and we get our movement. So we need to add something called mm, target armor. Set that to whatever value we want and then also set up our sprites. I'm only going to create one object target and then it's just going to randomly choose a sprite on the fly and that's going to determine what kind of unit it is. So let's bump the health stuff down. Let's put the armor stuff first. We're going to randomize because I'm going to be using the random functions. I want to get a random seed every time. Then uh, sprite index equals choose sprite unarmored target or sprite armored target make this bigger. Oops. Okay, so that's the first bit of randomness right over there. Then I'm going to switch on that sprite index to determine whether it should get armor or not. Okay, so if it's unarmored, well, then target, ooh, target armor equals zero. And if it is armored, target armor equals 100. That's pretty straightforward stuff, so we can get rid of all this white space. And there we go. So we're giving it an armor if it needs, leaving it out if it doesn't need it. Okay, so that's the create event done. Then I'm going to go into this draw event and update this. So we're drawing the health bar over here. I'm going to copy this code and paste it below, and this is where we're going to draw the target armor. Do like that, and like that. Uh, let's see, that was SX Games line. This is going to be my created color, which I've stored as a constant. I think it's called armor blue. There it is. Cool, so that's going to have a blue color to it. Then uh, when it gets low, it's going to be red. Very good, very good. Now we need to adjust these coordinates. So that one's in the middle. I want this one to be above that. So I'm going to do Y minus 70. So that's 10 pixels above the health. Then the text of that. There we go. So that should be all in alignment. Oh, this one also needs to be 60. Okay, so that's going to draw things quite nicely. So now let's go into the meat and potatoes. The collision event between an instance of object target and an instance of object bullet. So in my previous tutorial we went over this, if we have health, you know, if this target has health, then uh, check that this bullet hasn't collided with it before. If it hasn't, so if it's minus one, then reduce its health and add it to this list so that it never reduces health again. So the way I want to do the armor is before health, I want to check for armor, because armor is number one. If we don't have armor, then it'll eventually get down and reduce our health. But I don't want execution to hit this piece of code before it's supposed to. So just as we did here, if target health is greater than zero, I'm going to use if target armor is greater than zero. Let's make a code block. Okay, so if it's greater than zero, then basically we need to 
reduce it by 10. Now in my mind, if a bullet hits an armor target, it's going to destroy the bullet. There's no passing through. The bullet is destroyed, the armor is taking damage, and that's the way it works. So then our next bit here is with other. Remember, other is going to mean the other instance that object target is colliding with. Well, in that case, it's the one here, object bullet. So with other instance destroy. So the bullet will be destroyed. Now here's an interesting line that I want you to remember and make use of pretty much wherever you possibly can. Exit. See that? Exit means we've done what we needed to do, now get out of this event without executing any other code. Just leave. So in this case, we're removing armor and then we're leaving. We don't even need to check if the health is greater than zero. We're optimizing this event so well that everything else is ignored. It doesn't matter. So we take armor damage and then we leave. And we keep taking armor damage and leaving until there is no armor. And then this piece of code never executes. So it'll always execute this little bit at the bottom. And that is pretty much it. So let's save. And let's test this out and see what happens. So here we go. We've got one armor target and three randomly generated soft targets. So if I shoot this guy, his health should be fine. The bullet should be destroyed. His armor should go down by 10% and 10% only. So let's test this out. Bam, 90 and so on. His health is staying at 100. He's taking hits, but he's still fine. Let's get to zero, zero, 100. Now the next hit should start taking down his health. And not only that, but the bullet should go straight through. He is now a soft target. There it goes, doing damage to everyone behind him.